tell you or begin to tell you how gratifying this evening is for for me being here and my partners, Michael Gore, the composer, and Dean Pitchford. Jealous and sorry they're not here, and they'll, they'll just have to come another time. Um, a couple of notes I just wanted to share with you, so I, I jotted down a couple of things to, to say. Um, first and foremost, I, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank Bobby Garcia. <laughs> Fearless Bobby Garcia. Yeah. Yeah. Plus this incredible company that he's got who are with me on stage and who have mounted a production that does justice and credit to carry anywhere in the world. My, my own long journey um, with Stephen King's novel and story began 40 years ago, which I'm still having trouble getting my head wrapped around, um, when I first read this little manuscript by a first-time English high school teacher in Maine. Um, little did King know, nor did I, that we were heading on an amazing journey with this, this little fable, um, this little fairy tale about high school that would serve as the cornerstone of both of our lives in different ways. Um, we had no idea at the time that it was going to live on and like all really great popular stories through history, be they by Charles Dickens, by Mary Shelley and Frankenstein, by, by Stephen King, that they were going to speak to us all these decades after they were written. The case is really true with Carrie, which has become more resonant now than when it was written 40 years ago, than when the movie came out. And it's found some astonishing way, I think, like all great stories, to touch us and move us, and most of all, hold a mirror up and remind us what it is to be human. Um, we're so lucky to have Bobby and this incredible company to remind us that Carrie speaks a really important truth that we all need to stand in other people's shoes, that we need to have empathy for each other, and, and most of all, whoever we are and wherever we live, we are all connected. Mm -hmm. Thank you.